the manager was working on the strip hole. What happens down route stays down route. Does cheating happen down route? Hi guys. Hi guys and welcome back. And today we are talking what really happens down route. We are going to go into the nitty gritty and we are going to spill the tea. Are you ready to spill the tea? <laughs> I, can, I can talk about the subject, I can state my opinion and uh, yeah, let's have an interesting <laughs> discussion about it. Yeah, I think we will have a little bit different opinions, but Maybe. okay. But let's see. Okay. Let's see. If you like to have more aviation related videos, please subscribe to our channel. We'll post every Wednesday 11 UTC. And if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and let's get into it. Okay, so this one has got a little bit of an edge. When I first heard the idea, I thought, oh no. Um, so what is the subject? So we are going to happen when pilots and cabin crew get down route. So what really happens in the destination? When you say what happens down route, is it at what time you get breakfast and your meals or anything? Or are you talking about something... You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so you are talking about <laughs> crew romance. What yes. happens down, down route? Let's put a little bit disclaimer over here because, you know, some airlines work a little bit differently. Like I said, yeah. not always crew and pilots are in the same hotels. Yes. Different airlines have a little bit different ways. I think in our airline, we are a little bit like a little family, so we spend a lot of time together. But in some airlines, you know, people are actually quite lonely when they are staying in hotels. Yeah. But this is only our experience and we want to share it. When we fly, we sometimes stay over some places in hotels, some destinations. I would say in general on a short haul flight or bullets, so when we just stay one night, nothing really happens too much because you're so tired you want to just eat sleep and go back home but i think in general people are no more prone to romances or like a holiday romance on long trips so if you're staying somewhere for several days yeah i think uh, one of the things i like about being in the industry is the variety of people that you work with and I think uh, that sometimes you can maybe uh, meet a colleague you have never met mm -hmm. before. As you say, if you spend a couple of days together at this nation, you might just think, yeah, this works really, really good. Sometimes the conversation becomes a little bit more friendly than other times. And sometimes things do happen. Um, that's not to say that I condone anything of it, but I just think that maybe there is uh, not too much rocket science behind you know, why does things happen? Because if you're really unhappy at home and somebody is giving you attention, yeah, things could happen. Well, before we actually go into that, I also want to share that there's other things that happen down route. So, for example, we go on day trips yeah. easily. Mm. We sometimes have dinner together. Yeah. Like I said, in our company, we are a little bit like a family, so we usually have dinner together. Mm -hmm. We hang out together during the day, in the evenings. So we actually spend a lot of time together and actually getting known to each other. So I think that's also part of the reason why sometimes things develop a little bit further. Yeah. Question. Yeah. Do captains or pilots in general offer drinks for the crew? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it actually, it, it depends. Uh, I like sometimes when I'm at a destination, um, maybe to say, well, I'll do the first round or maybe you feel like with your colleague that you want to say, okay, the drinks are during the meal are on us. Mm. But I, I wouldn't say there are any set rules, but maybe historically it's been like, yeah, the pilots pay for the drinks. But I, I don't think that there's too much going on anymore. There's some really strict policies of tipping and everything. So if you do, it comes out of your own pocket, that's for sure. But I think that was a little bit old school that the pilots pay for the drinks, I think. Oh, okay. Sometimes, yeah. Do crew get together in that way? <laughs> yeah, they do. I think, yeah. uh, uh, but I don't think it's too much of a, of a surprise because when you work in the industry, you might be working uh, out of sync with everybody at home and everything. And, and if you're single... Um, Ready to mingle? 
Yeah, if you're single, of course, it might be a great opportunity for you to have a little bit of a holiday romance if that's what your roster looks like. Yeah, of course. You have a hotel, you have beach, you have everything. Uh, yeah, and so if you have no commitments, certainly it's fine. And I would also say that uh, maybe there's a bit of a uh, an attitude in the industry as a whole that we... We're not judgmental. We're not judgmental. I think that if people want to do something, I think generally that... Yeah. If people don't think that it's my business to do something about it or you lecture you about something. People are adults, they can do what they like and... So you wouldn't be surprised if a cabin crew member was going on Tinder dates all the time when they are down route? I think generally it's not my business what people do in their personal life. I think okay. I have a duty of care aspect uh, when I'm on a, on a, on a trip. Uh, that means if somebody gets ill, I represent the company, I take them to a hospital or I sick, ensure that they get well, uh, medical treatment that they need. But what they do, okay. uh, that's personal. That, that's nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> One question. Yeah. Does cheating happen down route? Do... So cheating, yes. okay, if you're in a relationship. Uh, yeah. I, uh, well, to be honest. Yes, it happens. Yeah, it, it does happen. Yeah, of yeah. course, this is down to people. Does it happen all the time? Mm. No. But I do think the environment that we work in does actually make you a little bit prone for cheating in a way, especially if you're a long haul crew in, in general, because you spend, first of all, if you're in an unhappy relationship Absolutely. and then you go for three days in Thailand under the sun, having really nice company, having a little bit of drink, suddenly that first officer starts looking really, really good. I think it can, yeah, if, if, the way you describe it, it can be like having a lot of Christmas parties all yes. year round. It's yeah. Temptation Island, it, it can be like Temptation yeah. Island. So, yeah, if you want to have an answer to that question, does it happen? Yes, it does happen. But I would also say that there are plenty of examples of people in healthy relationships that, that don't do it. Well, do you get often approached, male and female? I think I think it does happen actually. Yeah, I, I, believe it or not. I mean, <laughs> I, I just I think uh, uh, it does happen sometimes that I get some offers uh, and I tell you about it. Uh, yeah. But I I think if you're in a sound relationship, uh, then you haven't really got any reasons why why to to do anything. You shouldn't. But how do you feel about it? How do I feel about what, what's it? Your, what's your experience? We've been in a relationship, you've been flying. Have you been approached by a colleague, even though that you yes. know we are together? Yeah. Multiple times. Yeah. That, you know, even the colleague knows that I'm with you because they have flown with you and mm. they know you. Still, you know, they might try. They're welcome to try. I make my own decisions. And I have always told you about it. And mm. to be honest, we just laugh about it. Mm, yeah. Okay, well, I challenge you okay. and tell a story from down route. It doesn't have to necessarily happen to you, but tell me a dirty little secret from down route. A dirty little secret? Well, I can tell you an uncomfortable secret. And I think it's to do with trying to be helpful mm -hmm. and then ending up in trouble. Mm -hmm. And I think these days, um, if, if you are in a situation where one person has had too much to drink mm -hmm. and, and you decide to maybe help that person back uh, to the hotel, into the room, I think we, sadly, we live in a t time where you need to be really, really careful. So I'd say don't walk a crew member that is... Uh, very drunk and be in a situation where you are alone with another drunk person in a room where nobody can actually vouch for what's happening. That that can really quickly turn into quite an uncomfortable situation if one person says this happened and then another one says it didn't happen. So don't get <laughs> put yourself in that situation. That's not a dirty little secret. That's, not that's, dirty. An, that's an advice. <sighs> okay, uh, this is uh, happened down route and um, Apparently, well, luckily I was sick, so I wasn't witnessing on my own eyes this, but I heard everything about it, Gally FM. So our cabin manager was working on the ship pole, and later on she was also <laughs> investigating the inner pieces of, of... She was kissing someone. Yeah, basically, she was just putting her 
Tom okay. Donald's uh, mouth of the uh, FO apparently. Okay. And I can tell you the next morning I saw the FO, he happened to lose his ring in the morning mm, or yeah. during the last night. So. Okay. Yeah, that, there you go, that happens. But I think, is, is that something that is unique to aviation? I don't think so, but as you say, we, we have got uh, opportunities where we have hotel rooms, we have the sun, we have alcohol, we have time. And We're relaxed. Yeah, We're I think that, that that is, you know, they make reality programs where they, you know, it's about you know, they this. should make a reality TV about crew. Yeah, it, it's a bit, <laughs> so I don't think that it's, of course, things happen down the road, but I think it happens to those people that seek it. No, not necessarily to people that don't want well, to. Well, yes, if you stay in your hotel room and not go anywhere, yes, nothing happens. Uh, yeah, you, yeah. you can be assured, you can be comfortable in your room, eat your food and not see anyone. What I do think about being away uh, down route is that I think an important thing to pass on is that you don't decide who you are with down route. And, no. and I think how... How well you work together can depend on so many different things. Sometimes people get into small groups because they know each other from the previous, uh, not like know each other from the, that way, but it's just they, <laughs> they have been on a trip before and they just, they like to do stuff together, like going mm. on, on, a, on walks and stuff. Other mm. times you just have a wonderful, like the uh, wonderful crew, like when we met, it was yeah. one of the best trips ever, I think. Uh, but it was just how people, get on you know uh, down route sometimes it just works brilliant and you can be at a destination that is not too interesting and you have the best time you could also be in the best destination you can imagine and have a crew where people don't really hang out much it, it depends it depends really on the crew so i think one thing i i think i have discovered is, my, yeah. is that i think that um, i felt a little bit different when i was a first officer and when okay. I'm a captain down route, because I think it uh, th there's a lot more to it when you are the captain, because you have the duty of care aspect. I think when you are the first officer, you're assisting more in a more assisting role and, and you're more like, you can more afford to be off. How do you feel as a, as a captain crew? Yeah, do, do, do you feel... in a way I, I feel the same. So basically, if you want to have a really, really good time, be either the first officer or cabin crew member. <laughs> is that your tip to everyone? <laughs> if you're single, ready to mingle, be either the first officer or cabin crew member. I have to say that there's a time when you leave the party. Okay. As the captain, <laughs> the, 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 you, you know when when it's time to just to go. And, it, and then, it, it's the time when you can see the cabin manager no. <laughs> <laughs> going and reaching that pole. That's your cue. Turn around and go back to the hotel. I, I just think sometimes it's uh, there's a little bit of like, I'm not saying that you should be a boring captain, but you should just be aware that you might next day have to be the boss. And, and I think you need to think about the, how you are being perceived by other crew members as well. So maybe in the captain role, you can be, I don't know, you, you become maybe a little bit more boring. But it's it's down to the individual. <laughs> it's down to the individual how you want to be in the captain Come role. On. I know so many captains that sleep around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I cannot comment on that, but I just think that I felt felt different. I felt different when I walked from the F first officer role to the captain role. I okay. think there was a much more to it, and maybe I just became old and boring. So I hope that you uh, enjoyed that. That was a little bit of honest conversation about a topic that is maybe quite difficult to talk about. A mystery. Yeah, and I think that's what we generally like. We like to uh, provide some honesty in, in the industry. Send us a message if there's anything you uh, wonder or anything that you would like us to talk about. Even though it's a difficult subject, we will consider it. Just consider it. Uh, maybe do it. Definitely will do it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, stay safe. Bye. Bye.